What up guys, Reality here, bringing you a uh, game battles match that I had uh, a few days ago. Um, sorry if you can hear any sound in the background, it's my AC, it's really hot, so uh, it has to be on. Um, but this is Domination on Invasion. Um, this is probably like our, I think our 8th match or so uh, in game battles. Um, I recently left the team that I was on. Um, starting up a new team and that was probably the message that you seen um, last night when you're watching this up on my channel um, basically what I'm doing is I'm hosting tryouts for a new team and uh, you know what, what I'm looking for mainly is I'm, I'm looking for people that are, are really good at the game that are better than me and I'm not saying that I'm an insane player but if, if I can beat you uh, that's not good <laughs> that's really not good if, if I'm better than you it's really um, you know it's not good for a game battles team it's not good overall because I, I'm not that great at this game I get some nice games sometimes and sometimes I do horrible um, this game I think I go positive one but we wind up winning so that you know it's fairly decent and uh, I go for the W now I don't really care about my KD as much I mean of course, in pub matches, I'll, I'll bring you like you know a uh, a 3KD or higher most of the time, um, unless it's a really nice game. Then I'll upload it no matter what. But in game battles, KD means nothing to me unless it's Slayer or Team Deathmatch. And uh, I'm talking Halo because I just got done doing the Halo commentary. Um, so um, yeah, whatever. Um, so what I'm looking for in my new game battle team is I, I want everybody to be better than me. I want to be the worst person on my team. Um, if you guys have any game battles experience or um, you think you're pretty good, I mean, really what, what I would look at is, is if you think you're a good player, look at your KD and look at your win-loss ratio. Uh, I, you know, I know this isn't true for everybody, but most of the time, if your KD is over a 1.5 and your win-loss is over 1.5, you're a pretty decent player. Um, you know, I know sometimes the game's shit, and there, there's so much, so many factors into it. So that's why I'm not saying like, oh, you know, you suck if you don't have any. I, I have a 1.3 KD. That's my KD. That's my overall KD. Uh, that's because some games I go in and fuck around, and some games I just go in and get totally, like, just owned in general because people are using one main army tubes, or or running around with commando and attack knife, or I'm just getting outplayed in general. You know, so um, that's a uh, you know that's just what I'm, uh, I think. You know, if, if you guys, if you guys think that you you would like to play on a game battles team and, and you want to play, uh, my team's only going to be domination. I'm only going to be playing domination pretty much. I might play like CTF or demolition, but um, I, I find anything else like TDM or search and destroy a lot of people camp, and that's not exciting to me. I don't want to play that. I want to play something high paced like this. You know, you see us constantly running into action. It's not sitting back in a little in a little spot waiting for people to come up to me and, and let me get the kill. No, it's all about running around capping points. That's that's what I like. So if you're interested, PM me. My gamer tag is JLG Reality with a space in between JLG and Reality. Um, it'll also be in the description below. PM me, leave me a message. Just say GB, and what I'll do is when I get online, and I am gonna be hosting tryouts until about Sunday, uh, which is I wanna say Sunday is the 10th, I think, or the 9th of May. Um, I'm gonna be hosting tryouts until then. Um, and I'm just gonna basically being. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at numerous different things. I'm looking at communication, uh, teamwork, um, overall kills to deaths, points. You know, I know some people are better at, at different things, and I'm looking to get a mixture of it on my team. I'm looking for about nine to ten players, uh, mainly because I want to have a, a solid team of six and three substitutes just in case somebody can't get on or whatever it is. You know, so uh, you know you could uh, you could be the next one, and I, of course I'm gonna be uploading some games from there. Um, sometimes with commentary, sometimes without commentary. Some of you guys said you you want me to commentate on these game battle matches, and some of you said you didn't. But I figured since I'm looking for a new team, I, I'd commentate this one, and the ne next ones I'll probably release without any commentary or or you know alternate it, whatever it is. Of course I'll have some more pub matches, so don't worry about that. I'm not totally giving up on matchmaking. I'm still I'm I'm. Actually, now I'm going to try and start to get up to 10th prestige. Um, I don't know how well that's going to play into game battles because I'll be low ranked sometimes. I, I guess I guess I won't be able to play until I'm like level 29 to get Ninja and Ninja Pro because um, you know it's really it's really key in game battles most of the time to have Ninja. Although in this you see all these needs flying all over the place, so sometimes sometimes in this it's not that uh, effective to be using it. But um, I find using Ninja definitely helps out way more than anything else, so I tend to use it. And being that if I prestige, I'll be level 1, 
not the best idea, but whatever. Maybe I'll learn learn uh, to live with it. But uh, I am gonna try and get to tenth prestige. So uh, of course I'm gonna have to play matchmaking more. I'm almost at level seventy on the third prestige. Uh, I, I might not even go up to tenth. I might just go to ninth because I really just want the ten classes. You know, that's really what I want because I, I'm finding myself. You know, back when I st first started playing this game, I was like, you know what? I'm only gonna prestige one once, get that extra class slot just so I can have five for gameplays and have one for shooting down air support but now like it's like oh I don't have enough I want to have like a bling class I want to have a one man army with uh, an LMG class like I, I can't have those setups because I don't have enough classes so I think I'm gonna you know go to up to at least nine it's gonna probably take me a while I don't know but uh yeah here um we're basically we're, we're setting up now once we once we get two points you pretty much set up uh, game medals though at some points you want to take three flags just to get a big lead Sometimes that'll make the difference because uh, if they wind up wiping out your entire team and then say they take two two points or whatever like they just did, uh, if you have a big lead, it won't really affect you uh, that much and you'll have enough time to recap the points. So, you know, sometimes in, in, in this kind of setting, you want to cap all three points. In pub matches, I only cap two points because uh, most of the time people can't push out of spawn traps. But in game battles, you'll see people working more as teams and uh, making more of an effort to push out of that spawn trap like they just did because they got B back. And B on this map's really hard to take. I guess my team at the time wasn't really defending it like they should have, but whatever the case is, we, uh, we wound up taking it back, uh, I believe, here in a second. But we have a nice lead, you know, we're up by 30 or so points, and there's three minutes left. We just have to, you know, keep going back and forth. See, we're battling back. They just took B again. Um, but yeah, game battles, uh, it's a lot of fun because it eliminates a lot of the BS in the game. Commando's still allowed, but it, it, you don't nearly see as many people using it, only because um, y you find a lot of people using Ninja more or Sit Rep Pro more because, um, you know, it just benefits you a little more in the long run. Knifing... Most people, let's put it this way, most people probably play in tactical when they're playing the game battles matches and, you know, to be able to knife on tactical is kind of hard. So you, you barely see me knife anybody ever now that I switch to tactical because it's, it's kind of difficult, but I, I, I can't give up being able to crouch and, and whatnot with the joystick. So, you know, that plays into it. It plays a big role. Um... And yeah, so knifing, you really don't see too many people running around with commando, but it's nice because uh, shotguns are eliminated, which shotguns, you know, if you're running around with the a AA-12, for the most part, they're eliminated. There's an option that you can leave them on or off or, or, or banned or whatever. You can use them. Um, same thing with, like, C4 and claymores and, and rocket launchers and all that. You have, a, you have a thing to opt in or opt out with them when you set up your match or if you accept somebody else's match, it gives you the kind of... Uh, settings what they what they added um and a lot of people were like wow you can use kill streaks in, in game battles in some of the games that they saw on gummy's page um no the way it works is um when you make a game battles uh match you can actually choose if you want to have kill streaks on or off or same thing with perks you can turn perks on or off or whatever it is so you know you have your options for pretty much almost everything but um what is it but I think the only thing that they, they kind of banned, and this is only in MLG variants, is uh, One Man Army and Bling. Um, but everything else you can kind of opt in and opt out for. It. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of cool though because it eliminates all the bullshit. Shotguns are pretty much bullshit most of the time. That's why uh, I'm going to try and not use shotguns mostly anymore. I might just use them to get the um, mastery challenges for them. Once I do that, I probably won't use them anymore. Because I'm going to try and get like all the barracks challenges complete at one point. But for the most part, I've been using Ravikas and G18s because they are a beast. You know, I began so many like doubles and triple sprays with with um with the G18s. It's awesome. Same thing with the Ravikas. I've been getting some of them. And uh, right here, actually behind B, where I'm at, is actually a great point to set up because uh, you could shoot right down into C. Um, if we had map control, kind of right now we don't have map control because they're all over the place. But if we had map control, that would be a great spot to sit. I, I used it in another match we played on Invasion, and I was just like owning people. As soon as they would spawn and see, I was just like shooting straight down there with the ACR, and I was just tearing people apart. And there was my bad shooting, as you can see. So anyway, I just hope you guys like this game battles thing. I know some of you guys uh, don't really want to watch game battles. Some of you, you know, whatever. Um, I will have more Call of Duty stuff up, uh, you know, you just saw Halo Reach if you see the previous bit video before this. Um, you know, I'm going to be uploading all sorts of different things to this channel because now I'm starting to kind of expand. I'm starting to go into game battles, I'm starting to play more Halo 3, 
Halo Reach, you know, it's, it, I'm going to give you guys a mixture of everything because I, I believe, you know, so many people are playing Modern Warfare 2 and there are so many tips that I can't give you guys anymore because everybody says the same thing pretty much the same over and over again. So, you know, I want to try and give you guys something new, something fresh. You know, game battles I find a little fresh because, you know, you can see no kill streaks very competitive um, you know these are players that know what they're doing these aren't players that are sitting there running around in the corner and just waiting for people to come they're, they're actually playing the game the way it's supposed to be played so 20 and 19 not too bad but we won we won by 70 or so points I thought it was pretty decent anyway let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you later peace out